Hi guys, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. And today we're gonna to propagate an herb that's out of the mint family. What is it? It's the basil plant. The basil plant is one of those really easy plants to propagate, to grow, to use in your food. I mean, it's wonderful. It's been used for over 4,000 years in history. So I'm going to show you the most economically way to grow basil first, and that's by seed. So what I do is I have three quarters of this container filled with compost. Then I'm going to add an inch of seed starting mixture. And I want to do that. It helps with the bugs, but it's light and fluffy for the low roots to grow. Now, remember, those that have watched my videos on seed starting, no, I don't do individuals. I put a whole bunch in a container. This is the purple basil, by the way. One of my favorites. Smells amazing, tastes amazing. So, why in a one pot? because you could separate them and I'm gonna show you that later on. Now, once I put my compost in, I take hot water. Remember, these seeds love warmth. I mean, they're a hot weather plant and um, this will kill anything in there. It's actually steaming. Now, the rule is for sowing seeds, however, tall they are, you double that, sometimes triple, depends how thick their shells are. Okay, and the one we're growing today is holy basil. I love the holy basil. Actually, when my dog had cancer, Bernice, um, she got this every day with the olive leaf and all this other crazy stuff. And she lived like three years and she only had two months, so. Can you see how tiny these are? So since they're so tiny, all you do is just sprinkle them onto the soil and um, it's really hard to push these in without them sticking to your hand, but um, pack them so there's no air. And I lightly take some to basically cover it and it just keeps it moist. Now, basil seeds rot very easily. So I have a lid and they need light to germinate. I poke a hole in it and I lightly cover this and I put it in a really warm spot with that has sun. So I just put it in the windowsill in my one room. It's really warm. Now, Let's talk about all these purple basils. How long am I gonna keep them in this? Well, another way to propagate is by buying it. These are from Trader Joe's and it was under $3. I'm gonna say $2.59, but I mean, there's, oh, it's losing its leaves. So when these get as tall as this, I'll separate. So what you do is just basically, and it looks horrible, you basically gently pull them apart. and some are individuals, and some you can't go individually, it'll go in clusters, and I'll show you that. And some people use a knife, but this really saves a lot of money. So, so far, when they're really close, I just leave them in one pot. Okay, so that 259 has become one, two, three, four, five, six groups of basil. This is another way to propagate. 
date. You could just buy them and then just separate it. And then all you do whoop, is just put it in a container and really water it. Now, when a third way is I want to grow really bushy basil plants and um, such as this one. See how bushy this is? By the way, this one and a whole bunch that I'm going to show you came out of Trader Joe's. Simple thing. All you do is cut it, pull off the leaves, except for two. Now, a basil stem is a square stem. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but um, it really sucks up water and it's easier to root in a cup like this. And see how it just touches the water. I don't want to really soak it in there. And I put it in a semi-sunny window. Now, here's... Do you remember Joseph's coat? I did that video on propagating. This is the same thing. See all the roots? All I did is dig cuttings, put it in here, and it was perfect. So this is really easy to propagate by water, by seed, by division. Now, I want to show you this. All of this, so much, came from that little itty bitty Trader Joe's for $2.59. I'm just saying that's $2.59, under three. I have been putting some in water because I want really bushy plants. Like this one, this is one that was from water, actually both of these. And all I do is I just keep cutting them until they get bushy like this. So easy. Now, let's talk about another basil. Okay, there are so many you could do, but for some of them, you can't start by seed, such as, now I forgot about it, um, one of them that you could only grow by cuttings, and you could only buy it by nursery. And oh my gosh, now I forgot. All that. right. I can't believe I forgot the name because I keep this in my basement. I propagate it all the time. The African blue basil. It's one of the rare basils that you could only buy. So I buy mine from We Thought Nursery. There's a couple other nurseries, but you have to sometimes special order that. That's the one that flowers all the time. It doesn't die after it flowers. Some of these die after they flower, such as just the regular Italian basil or the purple basil. Thai basil, I keep that all year. It's actually in my um, garden inside. Grow it all year. It's flowering actually i'll take pictures of that and um it's fine the same with the african blue basil it flowers all the time it's great for the bees now even if you don't eat basil you want to grow it why because of the bees but it keeps mosquitoes away it's like the cedar and so um easy herb to grow and that's it. Have a great day. Please subscribe and like and thumbs up as Stefan says.